YouTube. Today we've got a PV Raptor Plus EXP uh, serial number. Maybe do to it doesn't really or doesn't. It's not very obvious what the, what year this is. Recent, ten years old, something like that. So this is um, it says made in China on it somewhere as well. Made in China. So I think there there's a lot of American PVs kicking about. There's also I seem to remember reading they get into trouble at one point by having PV USA guitars that weren't USA really at all. PV or USA, but I don't even know if PV are still going, did they? Well, anyway, don't know that, but here we go. So what we have here is pretty much a Stratocaster-y type, um, maybe a bit, bit like a Yamaha Pacifica, maybe, sort of thing. So we've got Strat Trem, humbucker, single-single, five-way lever, volume and a tone, rosewood neck, decent tuners on the back there. Um, yeah, so I've got this in for basically just getting a setup. Um, after recent things, there was a video I cancelled the other day about a Squire, which I'll, I will do again in a couple of days. Um, it needed set up badly. The I had to I moved the saddles to get the intonation right, and I'm not joking. I had to move them ten mil, so that kind of gives you the impression of what this actually sounded like. Um, if you don't know the intonation right, somebody who really knows what they're talking about will know why the guitar sounds rubbish. Whereas most folk will just go, this guitar is awful, what, you know, there's nothing very obvious wrong with it, it's just a case of that, but I mean, so now it's intoned, uh, adjusted the truss rod, brought it down, and see when you start doing that, when you've got like a guitar with high action, I've actually, I actually had it in because the electrics weren't working, but I sorted that, um, when you start bringing the action down, that's when you start noticing bad frets, and a bad nut, and this is fine, it's like, yay, so the frets on this are really good, I didn't have had to touch them at all, they're like, they're level, it's like woo, and the nut is cut really well cut, and it's like these are two really important bits, um, I'm not sure whether they come in if, if you get like a guitar set up in a shop, whether they actually do things like frets and nuts, but uh, I'm well impressed, I mean, a good wee guitar, um, again it's one of those ones that if you bought it just sight unseen off eBay or got already gum you didn't really know what you were doing, you're not really going to know things like intonation and stuff, but on this model anyway, obviously I can't vouch for every guitar because I had that bad Epiphone a couple of weeks ago and they're, they're, they're made, they're, they're, they won't all be as bad as that one. But um, this one seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, so this is actually in from a shop which I'm now kind of doing a wee, some sort of deal with, I've not really worked out, still thinking about it. Um, Blitzkrieg shop, which uh, I've, I've just really realised is actually Blitzkrieg Pop is a Ramones song or a Ramones album. And the guy was, I think he was wearing a Ramones t-shirt and I think he had Ramones written on his face. And I think he'd, you know, a big Ramones fan. Not really my thing. I do quite like, I always like their version of, um, is it the Louis Armstrong song? You know, the, the, the slow, I see trees are green, that one. I like their version of that and some of their, hey, ho, let's go. But then when the actual song starts, not really my thing. But anyway, um, so this will be, I'd imagine, well, this will be up for sale when I've, when I've handed this back. And now, uh, go, in, go in and try it. Basically, if you're in town, it's in the Savoy Centre in Glasgow, go in and try this guitar and just go, wow, why is that? You know, it's like, because it been, if you look these up, you know, I mean, they're not, I think they're about 150 new, something like that. They're not expensive guitars. But when they're set up to play well, they play. It sounds great. So, using my uh, wee Laney VC15 there, coming through that speaker cabinet, uh, no pedals on, neck pickup. <laughs> got the action really low on this as well for turbo speed metal, which I will suppose have to try and do. Position 4 being a Mark Knopfler one. Middle pick up. And then position two, which is a humbucker and the middle pickup. Getting a wee bit of the problem I always get with the humbuckers. When you're playing clean, see so if you just roll the volume down a wee bit, it takes away that sort of uh, you get from a humbucker and clean. No, 
not know. Which I mean, if you've got it on the humbucker. I mean, some people can use. I think a guitar like this, most people, beginners anyway, until you get into it, you're really just going to be using the humbucker and the bridge all the time with distortion to get a good. Uh, a little bit faster than that, then, eh? Uh, that pedal. That's easy, easy, isn't it? I'm not bothered trying to work out this all.
chance it's the right one. If this jiggle up, it's in the fridges. No, it's not. Uh, so it doesn't come on an arm. I just thought that I remembered the one sitting on top there. Yeah, so. Fine guitar, if this had been mine it would be getting buck faster if I'd, I would pretty much say, um, good guitar. If, again, there's that, there's that caveat, if you set it up, or you get somebody to set it up, or you know what you're doing, um, there's no reason why you couldn't be gigging with this. Sounds great, and I mean, no okay, I'm using a, like, a, these Laney's are like, I don't know what, I think they're about three or four hundred quid, even second hand, so it's, I mean, I'm using a very expensive guitar, but then again, I'm, Ruining it all by using a £12 rap pedal and I think the Joyo, the Joyous Dream, Joyo US Dream pedal is like about a 20 quid or a 30 quid for the two distortion sounds I was using there. So it's not, you know, I'm not cheating in such ways. Um, actually, in some ways, when you get like a, a bad guitar, like a really cheap one, which you don't tend to get anymore. Um, so I'm, you know, if you mean to take it, I always find it. My, my first guitar, it wasn't mine, it was actually... Uh, my pal Chris has took his, I can't remember what kind of strat it was, and he took it, and it sounded alright, you know, playing in the house and stuff like that, but then as soon as he stuck it in, went into the studio, and played it through like a Marshall stack, along with a drum kit, it really showed up. Um, so, th th again, when you're using an expensive amp like that, like it's all tubes and stuff, it's uh, it doesn't cover up any mistakes in the sound of the guitar, so if your guitar doesn't sound good, it'll sound really bad through that, but if you're playing through like a wee 10 watt, um, you know, box type amp, it's not going to sound that bad. It's kind of going to sound the same whether you put a good guitar in, provided you're, you know, within reason. You know, if you stick a two grand less Paul into it, it's kind of going to sound the same as a cheap one um, because you're only playing through a wee tiny speaker and all these things. So, enough enough apologetic. Why am I apologising for playing through a, a nice amp? Um, so, uh, I'll probably be dropping this off during the week at some point. So, it's worth going and have a shot of it. Um, if you're messing about in town, go in and Hang out with the cool kids. Um, that bl Blitzkrieg shop. And if you go in, um, say I sent you, so that gets me a bung. Well, I won't get any actual physical money. I'd get brownie points. And it's up here. That'd be good. Um, I noticed that uh, actually on, on the website, which he's got a bucky, one of my bucky casters, uh, number 18, I think it is, or num number 19, whatever it was, which he didn't actually buy from me. It, it's been, I must have sold that like, a year ago or something like that. And he's, He's got it, got it from someone else, and then it's, you know, it's on his website. So now, now I've talked to the guy, that's fine. Well, it's, it's gone by me. And if my name's mentioned on it, it'd be funny. <laughs> Rock on! <laughs> <laughs> 